This is for the Hispanic, Latino, Latinx people that say this. We don't owe African Americans anything. We don't have to identify with being black. They never did anything for us. Here it goes. So this is a immigration map of people immigrating to the U.S. This period specifically is 1919. So in this time, these are all the people that were allowed to migrate to the U.S. Now, what do you notice about all of these people that are able to migrate to the U.S.? You want me to give you a hint? They're all white. Except for, bam, Mexico. Which makes sense because Mexico is literally right there. And considering the history between Mexico and the U.S. and everything that was going on during that time, it makes sense that there are a lot of Mexicans that are coming in at that time. But one thing I want to point out is that during this time, immigrants from predominantly black countries weren't able to come to the U.S. Again, I'm not saying that we didn't have any, but it wasn't a high percentage. Why? Because the U.S. did not want black people or people of color coming into their country, especially during the 1919. But let's keep looking. Here, 1942, let's keep looking. Look at the data, still white, white, white. Here we got a little bit more Mexicans, but here, white, white, white. You don't see any predominantly black countries on this map. Now again, I ain't saying that there isn't a group of people coming from like, let's say Cuba, DR, Brazil. I'm just saying that not a lot of us were allowed to be in this country at that time. We're at 1942. Again, because U.S. didn't want black migrants here. So here we are, 1960, and still there isn't any countries who are predominantly black people migrating here to the U.S. It's not until 1963 where you see Cuba show up. And Cuba shows up first because let's not forget they were allowing all their white Cubans to come over here. Now in 1986, here we start to see DR. Now again, that doesn't mean that Dominicans weren't allowed to migrate here during the 1920s or during the 1930s. The only thing is that a lot more Dominicans started coming here after the 60s because of the what? <laughs> Heart Seller Act. Before the 1960s, and the data shows it, literally... We were probably under the 50,000 range, and this is before the 1960s. And honestly, I think I'm over calculating the range of how much Dominicans, Puerto Ricans were here before the 1960s because the U.S. saw us as a black country. And because of the Heart Seller Act in 1960, that is why you begin to see DR pop up during this time and during the 60s so if it wasn't for all of the work that african americans did during the 60s during the civil rights movement especially to pass the heart seller act look it up hispanic from predominantly and latinos from predominantly black countries would not have the opportunity to migrate here in masses during that time. You see, so you racist Latinos, you guys owe black people a lot, okay? You need to start having respect for black people because we know you don't based on how you treat black people. If it wasn't for them, you would be stuck in your third world country eating mud pies, okay? Walking around barefooted on the hard, hot concrete. And this goes for you racist Indians and Arabs as well, okay? All you guys owe black people, but yet yeah, you'll turn around and be racist instead. So for people to sit there and be like, we don't owe them anything, it was because of them we were able to migrate here. Not because of the U.S. government, because if it was up to the U.S. government, our people will still be over there. And it would be even more harder today to get our people to come to the U.S. So thanks to the Heart Seller Act that African Americans fought for, together with other Hispanic and Latinx people who were of color, fought 
so that we can come here. That should tell you that you should side with them. If you can't racially side with them, politically side with them, because they are fighting for all people of color and what's in their best interest, not white people. But it's okay, you know, you can side with them if you like. I'm just letting you know a little bit of U.S. history. This is a no sleeping zone. Damn, I missed it. <laughs> Damn, I missed it. <laughs> I think it's still holding on to the pump. <laughs> You see what he just did? I'm gonna have to play that back. He threw a bucket of cold ice water on a black man. He only did that because he's black, okay? I need you black people to start viewing these racist Latinos for who they are, okay? You're too nice, man. You're the only group that allow other races in your neighborhood without pushing them out or making it uncomfortable for them so they can leave on their own. This is a no sleeping zone. <laughs> and as for Manny Diaz, who is a Hispanic and would never be here if it wasn't for the Black Civil Rights Movement, because white people did not want Hispanics in America. I think they have forgotten. And this is what happens when you don't tell the truth about history. And as for Manny Diaz, who is a Hispanic and would never be here if it wasn't for the Black Civil Rights Movement because white people did not want Hispanics in America. I think they have forgotten. And this is what happens when you don't tell the truth about history. Did was state of fact, and y'all chose to be so anti black in them comments. Let me see te algo de parte de los latinos que somos moreno, que somos negro, as a part of the Latinos who are black. It's nothing new. The non-black Hispanics have always been racist to us black Hispanics. Whether y'all gonna admit it or not, you have and you showed it in her comment section. Pero déjame decirte algo. Let me tell you guys something. If it wasn't for us, you wouldn't have a culture, baby. Yeah, get mad. I don't give a fuck, quite frankly. I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Merengue, bachata, salsa, cumbia, reggaeton. Even the most popular mariachi song. Um, punta, palo, all that. You name it, we made it, baby. You're very welcome for seasoning your bland ass colonizer. Spanish people have made it so difficult for one like me to get a job where I'm from. No puede ser, en serio. Oh my gosh. The Spanish people are not the reason why you're not able to get a job. It is you racist Latinos fought while black people are unemployed. First of all, they should not be required to learn your language when you left your country to go to America. You should be required to learn English. Okay, have you not spoken Spanish? They will not need to know how to speak it. And number two is that once you racist Latinos get a management position, you fail to hire black people. You don't hire them. You don't want them around you. You only hire your own people. So it is your fault. Because before when black people was in management position, you know, for these lower paying jobs, they was hiring you guys. Because I seen it. I was there. And I used to say to myself, what the hell are they doing? Because you wouldn't do the same for them. And we see it clear as day today. You're not hiring black people. So it is your fault.
Y así de punto y listo. Mejor debería dejar el video ahí, pero voy a continuar. First and foremost, thank you for trying to refer us as Hispanics and Latinos por uno. <risa> Segundo, todo lo que tú dijiste en ese video estuvo, pero, pero de desmadre, chica. <risa> Dios mío, que nosotros lo hacemos tan difícil para que usted pueda conseguir un trabajo. Like yo, listen, you gotta be todos los videos. I already watched all of the ones that she's posted. And I understand that on the application it said you need to be fluent in Spanish. And when she went there, she asked the person who was interviewing her if she needs to be fluent in Spanish to get this job. And they responded back with yes. Ahora, this is the problem though. At least where I see. Then y'all can let me know how y'all feel about it too. But she starts talking to him in Spanish because she knows a little bit to like get her by, yada yada. And when it got to a point like where she could no longer understand him, she asked him if... She needs to be fluent in this job in order to work there. And he responded back with, yes. She responded back with, that figures, got up and left. So he comes to me speaking Spanish and I speak to him back till I get to the point where I don't understand him anymore. And I'm letting him know I'm not fluent in English. I mean, I'm not fluent in Spanish. Do I need to be fluent in Spanish to get the job? And he's like, yes, you do. So I said, figures, got up. I'm headed out to leave. And he's like, oh, okay, well, cool. Okay, this is my car. I'm frustrated. You! Yeah left the interview we really don't know how this could have gone if you would have stayed either but you left the interview just like right after the question like you didn't even stay you left that's what's my baffling to me right now and the apology Dios mío, mejor ni lo hubieras dado, chica. First and foremost, the only wrong that I did in this video was refer to you all as Spanish speaking people Spanish people I'm sorry Spanish people I apologize. Latino people, Mexicanos, um, Hispanics. There we go. Referring to you all as Spanish people. That was wrong. I mentioned that. I let you know I apologize for that. But that's the only thing that I'll ever apologize for. Everything else I said in that video, I stand on it. Yes, I do. Ten toes behind myself on that one. Mejor te hubiera quedado callada y así. Punto y listo. But you couldn't give me this job because I'm not fluent in Spanish. And this is America? Yes, this is America but you can also find another job within America that doesn't require you to speak Spanish. Yeah. Then you're talking about how like, you don't care if you're embarrassed, yada yada. This video is going up, I don't give a f how I look, I don't care how embarrassed I might be. This is insane. We're about the minority. What the f No sé qué decirte. No sé qué decirte. Mejor ahí lo dejamos, ahí lo dejamos, chica. Pero tú estuviste mal por todo lo que tú dijiste en ese video. Like you were dead wrong for everything that you said in your video. But the Spanish people are not taking away your jobs. Salawe Santoja, salude y ya. I'm Dominican, and all that means is that I'm black and I'm white. Okay, I like Bob Dylan and I like Rick Ross. I like weed and I like cocaine. <laughs>